Mac productivity hacks, tips, and tricks. Knowing the hidden details of your computer allows you to work smarter, not harder. Most of us have a basic understanding of how our computer works, but we don't know all of the little tricks that the developers included in Mac OS. Here are some simple and useful Mac productivity hacks, tips, and tricks that I've come across to help improve your workday and maximize your productivity while making your life at least a little bit easier. The first one I'd like to talk about is Split View. It's something that's been out for a while that a lot of people I talk to don't seem to know is even there. Yet there are so many situations where it's just so handy. Split View allows you to have two apps take up the full screen together, placing them side by side. I find this really handy when I need to make notes on something I'm reading in Safari. To use Split View, press and hold the green circle button in the upper left hand corner of the window. And then you have the choice to either drag that window to the left or right. Then you can choose what app is on the remaining side. And if you'd like to switch them, it's as easy as dragging one to the opposite side. I find this allows me to make the most of my screen real estate when multitasking between two apps. When you're done with that mode, just press that same button again on either window and it will put everything back to normal. Super handy. The next one I like to talk about is apps with tabs. This is where you can combine an app's open windows into a single window with tabs. I find this especially useful if you use any of the iWork suite of apps. I'm going to demonstrate this using Pages, but this will work with any iWork app, and many third-party apps support this feature as well. In this situation, I have three Pages documents open that I'm going between to write a document. As you can see, it's not super convenient to move between them right now. To merge the windows into tabs, simply go to the window menu and choose Merge All Windows. Now all three documents are tabbed in pages, making it really easy to move between them. You can also reorder them at will, or start a new document just by pressing the plus button on the right. You can have this happen automatically by changing Prefer Tabs when opening documents in the Dock settings. If you're interested in looking at this option, there are many ways to get there, but a straightforward way would be to press Apple in the top left and then go to System Preferences. Then double click on Dock. Then the drop down box you can change the behavior to Always, in full screen only, and manually. Now the next Mac productivity hack is probably one of the most powerful once you realize what it can do. The Spotlight search box. Spotlight can find apps, documents, photos, and other files on your Mac and use Spotlight suggestions to get news, sports, movies, stocks, weather, and more from the web using sources like Wikipedia, Bing, Maps, and iTunes. Spotlight can even get conversions, calculations, and definitions for you. There's different ways to use Spotlight. First, you can click the magnifying glass in the upper right to access it. But the most convenient way I find is pressing Command Spacebar. I use this most of the time to open apps that I don't keep on my dock. For example, when I open Google Chrome, I just open Spotlight, start typing in Chrome, and after two characters, it's already presented me with the right option. I just press enter and boom, I'm in Chrome. This is super fast and convenient. Spotlight is also useful for simple math, like what's the tax on buying my coffee this morning? If my coffee is $3, then multiply by the amount with tax and boom, so handy. And like I said earlier, you can do simple wiki searches, like what is an Apple Watch? And you can even do a simple currency conversion, like 300 CAD to US. So simple to use, yet so powerful. 
This next tip is more for people that have come to the Mac from the Windows world like myself. When I first started using Macs, I found the user interface a bit disorienting at first. But I made one change that I found really helped me. I changed how the application folder looks. I made the app folder pop up to a list that looks very similar to the start button. I found this made it easier to see what's on my computer. I don't open apps much that way anymore as I mostly use Spotlight, but I still keep the apps folder set up this way for ease of use. By default, it often opens in a finder window or a big square that takes up a lot of screen. If that works for you, then each to their own. But if you like the whole start menu idea, simply right click or control click the apps folder and choose list. And now you have the list like a start menu. This last tip isn't for everyone, but it's awesome if you can do it. Unlocking your Mac with an Apple Watch. It's so convenient. I'll admit it's not as cool as Touch ID on the new Macs, but for the majority who still don't have those models, this is pretty darn handy. I'll leave a link in the description for all the details about how to set this up, but I'll go over the basics in this video. Go to the System Preferences by pressing Apple in the upper left hand corner and then choose Security and Privacy. Then check Allow your Apple Watch to unlock your Mac. It's quite simple to activate, but there are some conditions quoted on the Apple webpage. But those conditions are mostly all normal setup options anyway. If you have an Apple Watch, I recommend giving this a try. It's so handy. Well, there we are. Some of the best Mac productivity hacks, tips, and tricks I'm aware of. If you have any productivity hacks, tips, or tricks you think would help, please share them in the comments below. While you're there, also feel free to subscribe to our channel for more tech how-tos every other Wednesday. And if you found this video useful, please press the like button. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitter for more life hacks daily at lifehacks IRL. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.